was Taylor Hawkins playing with the Foo Fighters as part of Lollapalooza in Argentina on Tuesday. That would end up being Taylor's final performance. He was found unresponsive in his hotel in Colombia and was pronounced dead. He was only 50 years old. Foo Fighters mourn the loss of their drummer on Instagram writing, The Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. Our hearts go out to his wife, children and family and we ask that their privacy be treated with the utmost respect in this unimaginably difficult time. An investigation has been launched into Taylor's death as the music world grieves. Mick Jagger tweeted, So incredibly sad to hear the passing of Taylor Hawkins. My thoughts are with his family and the band at this time. Paul Stanley wrote, Speechless and gutted. Taylor was a great guy, a dad and a husband. My heart goes out to them, Dave and the band. What awful news. Gene Simmons added, Shocked and saddened to hear Taylor Hawkins has passed away today. Our prayers and condolences go out to the Hawkins family, Foo Fighters, friends and fans. Sad. Ozzy Osbourne tweeted, Taylor Hawkins was truly a great person and an amazing musician. My heart, my love, and my condolences go out to his wife, his children, his family, his band, and his fans. See you on the other side. Ringo Starr tweeted, God bless Taylor. Peace and love to all his family and the band. Peace and love. Coldplay dedicated their song Everglow to Taylor in their concert in Mexico last night. We should send love to the Foo Fighters because uh, we, we, we all knew Taylor, the drummer, who is a beautiful, beautiful man. And so we're going to play this song for the Foo Fighters and uh, this, is, this is called uh, Everglow. Nickelback tweeted, In utter disbelief at the news of Taylor Hawkins, our deepest condolences to his family, his bandmates, his team, his friends, and everyone that was ever touched by the music he created with Foo Fighters, Alanis, and so many others. This is so incredibly sad. Phineas wrote, so heartbroken, to hear about the news of Taylor Hawkins' passing. What an incredible talent, who didn't also need to be so kind and generous and cool, but was all of those things too anyway. The world was so lucky to have his gifts for the time that they did. Rest in peace. Marin Morris simply said, what a beautiful man. Travis Barker grieved on Instagram. I don't have the words. Sad to write this or to never see you again. I'll never forget Laguna Beach days when I was a trash man playing in a punk rock band and you were playing with Alanis. You'd come watch me play in dive bars and be like, kid, you're a star. I thought you were crazy, but you gave me so much hope and determination. Years later, we toured together with Blink and Foos in Australia and had the best memories of smoking cigarettes in the restroom of flights we were on together and watching your set every night. To say I'll miss you, my friend, isn't enough. Till the next time we talk drums and smoke in the boys' room, rest in peace. Drummers aren't always super well-known in rock bands, but Taylor's charisma and talent were undeniable and mesmerizing. He certainly was a star that burned bright, but definitely not long enough. How will you remember Taylor?